Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is time to reclaim. Reclaim your dignity. Yes. We, as a human race, we are in a place which is um, very challenging in terms of human freedom, in terms of uh, organizations and um, corporations and governments abusing the human spirit and human freedom. Somehow something started getting really out of balance where um, the individual is losing or lost its dignity. It's not something that is new in human evolution, but basically what I would like to call on into this planet right now is a little bit of help and guidance with that. We need new powers, new forces to come and shift the dynamics that we are facing right now. There are lots of things, lots of controlling patterns, lots of frames, lots of matrix elements in our lives today that are inadequate, that are no longer needed. It's like dinosaur structures that are um, limiting the human expression and limiting uh, freedom limiting just the creative flow of human beings. You know, right now, these uh, structures that belong to the, the matrices that we live in, uh, governmental structures and social structures and, and um, uh, uh, belief systems and so on, that are basically really, really outdated. So I don't know what the solution is, and I know that right now you have you know, what we would call social activists, or you have people like, you know, like me or other people just teaching and trying to inspire to bring more freedom into our lives. And this is, this, you know, it's happening in its own pace. Now what I would like to invoke for the planet and humankind, and I hope you can join me in this call, is like, we can do better as human race. It's time to reclaim our individuality, our uh, dignity as human beings. And uh, to do that, we need to be really, really clear about what we prioritize and how we prioritize it. Freedom, well-being, respect are more important than profit. Right now, the massive corporations that are controlling uh, a lot of the aspects of the world, a lot of the politics that are going out there, um, the, the treatment of nature and how we relate to this planet, Something is really out of line there. This is no longer our truth as human race. We can do way, way better. And so, again, I don't know what the solution is. We are moving slowly in the right direction, but basically, you know, we can still live within these structures, but they are outdated. We need new codes of evolution when it comes to um, to the matrices that we live in. Those, this matrix, is not a mistake, okay? Uh, when you watch uh, the, the movies, the, the, the Matrix, the trilogy, it's like, it's, we live in a system, yes, that is almost like a holographic representation, hologramic, holographic uh, representation, and uh, this field that we are in, um, you know, that is represented by the, the, the mental body of our planet, the mental body of, um, of uh, society, the rules, regulations, the, the way we navigate life, all that, you know, is what, part of what sustains society. It's a little bit like the frames of the architecture of a house, of a building. So there is nothing wrong with having a matrix, okay? <laughs> In my opinion, that's the way it works. It's like, yes, we can, we can, so that it directs a little bit of our human evolution. But some of these forces within that matrix are really uh, restrictive and outdated. And so what I would like to call is this, you know, I want to call out there the spirit, the forces, the invisible that are watching over us and invoke uh, those power and those forces to come and give us a hand. This is a prayer. I hope that if you see this video that you can resonate and vibrate with me on this prayer, on this calling, because there is a lot of these things that we cannot do alone. We need revolutionary powers coming in. We need, we need things that are going to shake us as human beings and society so that we can expand to our real and true potential. And to do that, we need also to recenter our values and be very clear about what we are doing here on this planet when it comes to relating or treating human other human beings or other life forms on this planet okay lots of these patterns lots of the things that are happening within the human frames uh, are abuse they are human abuse they are abuse of 
other human beings through the use of uh, constricting systems and uh, it's painful it it hurts lots of people you know people get sick they die <laughs> they uh, you know they end up trapped in 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 systems and lives that feel like prisons and limiting and so these limitations are you know I think that we can really do better there is an expansion that is that is opening and yes you can do that within the frames it means that even with the frames existing even with the existing frames uh, you can still transform yourself and still find the freedom from within but when it comes to uh, you know shifting mass consciousness I think that my belief is that we are really ready for a big upgrade so post in the comments if you agree tell me what your impression tell me what uh, your biggest limitation in life feels the things that you would like to shift because you see what happens is that we have a massive creative power okay by envisioning our future by deciding and, and, and designing how we want this planet to look like we are going to design this together so it's a really powerful creative force that we have from within and the more people synchronize their effort the better it's going to work of course so let's sync you know let's synchronize and envision our future together so that what we manifest really matches what we have to offer yay to human dignity you know bring back that in the core of our values and the respect for human beings, respect for, for human lives, for all lives on this planet is something that we have to recenter into our core priorities as human race. Businesses, governments, entities or organizations, everything needs to be reshaped so that we put that as a higher priority in uh, our scale of values. Do you agree? What do you think about all that? I love you. I'll see you soon.